welcome everyone i am dr manoj i am working as a clinician and environmentalist in medway england and here just to give this different topic of touch which is slightly uh, other than the hardcore medicine and i believe that will be working as a buffer in the midst of hardcore medicine why i have chosen this subject the problem is one day i was listening to that greenhouse gases and i am sharing my experience i was thinking if this is green then why it is disastrous there after i thought why not to explore the subject go through the terminologies which are differently used carbon credit global warming climate change a lot of things <coughs> and especially it was discussed <coughs> in our g20 summit so i explore this so this is my subject of interest at the moment just watch this video we started from here glaciers are melting due to global warming rapid exhaustion of industrial exhaust sorry uh, just back again just back sorry the video again there is no sound in the video this we are achieving at the moment glacier air yeah, ice caps are melting at the poles industrial exhaust this is the surface you can see from if you go in the sky from the plain our land is looking like this there are the wildfires droughts everywhere and design is changing greeneries are going off from the ocean you can see the tired polar bear of seeing the human made this disaster and this is the current uh, interesting thing these are the wildfires from where we started and where we went now you can see this is the situation of delhi so what is this global warming mean the world heats up in response to the accumulation of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and since the industrial revolution about 170 years ago we have reached 1 degree extra celsius we have added in our climate but since last 40 years only the rate of rising temperature per decade has doubled and climate scientists are really worried about it and they have now put a target by 2040 we should limit the global temperature rise to 1.5 degree celsius only now see this change over those 110 or 20 years that blue graph was there and now in this last 40 years this red angry looking graph and we don't know what will happen in next 10 20 year might be the black graph so the concept of greenhouse gases what does it mean certain gases prevent the heat from escaping our environment atmosphere by absorbing the radiation the skipping our planet warm these gases include carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide and these are collectively known as greenhouse gases a carbon footprint is made out of this greenhouse gases but because the chief component here you can see carbon dioxide is there and because the carbon is the hard core of that for practical discussion we discuss like a carbon footprint although that's representative of everything and mind it this footprint is not like is a print of my foot and shoes this is what activity you are doing and and what how much carbon you are producing and adding to the climate there is a unit for that so what is the carbon cycle and the co2 movement this is a natural system of recycling carbon atoms through the plants animals underground material minerals and atmosphere this is a cycle our planet is considered as a closed system it is neither losing or neither gaining the carbon and so where is the carbon carbon is mainly stored at places where the carbon uh, is in atmosphere such as rocks sediments uh, living organisms and ocean this is a cycle consist of like photosynthesis decomposition respiration and finally fuel combustion 
This is worth noting, as we commonly know that plant is taking carbon dioxide and giving us oxygen. Before writing this article, even my concept was this, but when I digged it out, I found out when there is no sun, even plants are adding carbon dioxide to the climate as well. So it is important that we should be planting more and more green plants. During the sun time, they can add, take the more and more carbon to balance the situation. Here is the cycle. You can start from anywhere, and you can see all the factors are causing increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and which is dissolved in the water can reduce the pH of the water, and that's a disaster. Only one process, that's the photosynthesis, can take it back. So this is only balance it. There are 100 factors which are adding, but only one factor which can reverse it. So we should focus on more plantation. Now what is carbon footprint? When this word came to me, this was very exciting to me. A carbon footprint is not made by one's foot, as I said, but by one's action. A carbon footprint can be calculated by summing up all the activities, what we do, all, all the actions or activity has to be performed that we have to sum it all, that how much carbon has been produced and gone to the climate. Just for an example, if we consider a house built on 200 meter square land, a three bedroom uh, bedded house, and fill that house with the carbon dioxide fully, that will count as a one, one unit of carbon footprint. Other example could be as the smartphone era, if you are charging full a smartphone, like 120,000 smartphone, you are adding one unit of the carbon to the climate. Or if you are doing some activity where 500 liters of diesel consumption is there, that will add to the one carbon footprint. <clears throat> Globally, the average annual carbon footprint per person is nearly four ton at the moment. And our target is to by 2050, we should reduce it by half, so two ton. That's a big target, and how we will possibly achieve it, we all are responsible to act towards. Otherwise, we will just pass a risky climate to our further generation for which you are working today and accumulating. What is the impact on health of this situation? As I said, it's away from med uh, this subject is away from the medicine. No, it is interlinking. Because we are producing carbon as well, and we will suffer as well. So health professional cannot be isolated from this. Like exposure to the climate-related health hazards include biological, chemical, physical stressors, or different time, location, population, and severity. Over the past two decades, death caused by modern forms of pollution have increased by 66%. This was really a reference to an article in 2022 in Lancet. Nowadays, most human activity requires electricity. Nobody can deny that. So what to do? We need electricity. Suppose for five minutes our electricity goes here, everybody will feel like a paralyzed. But we need electricity, so what we should work on, we should venture more and more clean electricity methods. Like those could be solar, wind, waves, or hydro renewable electricity production. And I'm very happy to say, just a few months ago, I was watching a video. India is, at the moment, top in the list to produce solar power-related electricity. That's achievement. <clears throat> Look at this. This is, this is important to us regarding the health hazards. This rapid rise in the concentration of greenhouse gases leading to rising atmospheric temperature and reduce the pH of the water. That's the main consequence. That disturbing the plant and animal growth, clinical uh, climatic catastrophe and extreme weather events like a storm, tsunamis that you can get. Oceans are getting warmer, getting the different biodiversity and the organism which are living in the ocean. Poor air quality, we have a lots of cardiovascular and respiratory diseases. Reduce food and water security, surge in the acute and chronic diseases, extreme weather events, and social impact and the mental stress. You can see this COVID pandemic, it might be due to the climate change, that the virus which was not disturbing us for last three or four decades disturbed us, and the whole world stopped for one year. And that was giving so many increase in the depression and mental illness as well during COVID epidemics. So these are the factors impacting our health and all system of our health. So this much is the burden. 
Is there any role? How we will going to counter it? Again, I think I said, this changes and things and responsibility is at every level, like individual, our institution, nation, and global uh, forces. So how we can do that? At individual level, simply to minimize luxury, reducing the consumption of fossil fuels, recycling the items, sharing the transport, organizing a small educational groups and share the, that what this problem is and pay to awareness. At the organizational level, there are basically two things which can be of very helpful. Like because this carbon is going in the climate, what we can do, either whatever is the mix there, we can just retrieve from there and hold it. The second method can be, we should put an interface not allowing carbon dioxide to be mixed in the climate, just before the factory exhaust, we should stop it. But th those two methods are known as carbon storage and utilization and direct air capture. I will mention later on. <clears throat> there was a common consensus signed by 195 nations in 2015, and now the whole globe is worried about this problem. What is the real, uh, role of health professional? Just now, the GMC in the UK and NHS and RCP, Royal College, have come with the clear guidelines that these are the responsibility of the health professional. If you could do, we can reduce the carbon addition, like practice evidence-based medicine, prescribe wisely, promote sustainable transport, and adopt hybrid consultation model. And this is a good example. This conference is a hybrid conference as well. That is saving the carbon adding to the climate. Now, these two techniques I mentioned about CCDS and, and DAC technology. So here the catch is, if we have stored the carbon, we hold it, what to do further? It will need a further step that it can be injected back into the impeded oil and petrol natural reservoirs where the carbon cannot come back to the environment that we can do. And the alternative approach can be, we can utilize this carbon, change in the format, like the carbon, uh, sorry, uh, carbon, uh, calcium carbonates and things, and that can be utilized, mineral utilization in the road forming, transport, and in building formings and things. That's a way to absorb and, and keep this carbon return, that it should not go back to the environment. What are the targets? These are the following targets you can see. Just the top one, you can uh, remember, the current annual global CO2 emission stands about 40 gigatons annually. And our target is to reduce at least 10 gigatons every year to achieve the target that by 2050, that the overall carbon production to be per person, uh, two ton, which is at the moment four tons. <clears throat> there are few terms you will see in the medias, carbon neutrality, carbon offsetting, net zero, net balancing, and green colonization. What is carbon neutrality? It is just a balance it. Like how much carbon an individual or country or industry is adding to the climate, is he taking back that much of the carbon by some means? So there is a way of, by investing in carbon offset projects, like, like here suppose in Delhi heavy industrialization is there, and we can't do anything about it, we are investing money in Africa where the green land is there, paying $20 uh, per uh, in the green land farming, and then give us a one carbon credit, and we are balancing that. Somewhere we are producing more, somewhere we are utilizing, and the cycle and balance it can be maintained at the moment. One carbon credit typically represents the removal of one metric ton of carbon dioxide, as I said. The concept have evolved in official net zero, but mind it. This is not the, we are reducing the carbon, we are just making balancing across the globe. So, some interesting point, this plant-based diet and versus the non-vegetarian diet, it has been seen to feed the population of about 8 billions, we need about 38% of the land mass to, to grow the food for them. If we go on the vegetarian diet, we need only 7% of the land mass, and we are saving 31% of the land mass of the world. And you can see, we will not need any maintenance of that land mass, and there will be a huge reduction of carbon dioxide. So <clears throat> these are the few targets. 
and uh, you can remember these three golden words to combat this situation, like our very hit film from the South India, RRR, reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And here, every individual is responsible for their consumption and should be willing to change. It's not only the government's duty to do that. These are the few summary points, as I said. Carbon dioxide plays a vital role in our atmosphere by regulating the Earth's temperature. The rapid accumulation of CO2 is causing global warming, leading to the climatic catastrophe and the health hazards. Every individual and organization and country are responsible, and switching to renewable energy sources are very welcoming facts, and green plantation. And the goal should be achieving zero emission. We should not be just settling for the what we call uh, net zero, which is happening at the time. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for sharing your insights.